Hello, my name is Corey Hessel, and I am using the BioFlow 3000 um, in order to produce ethanol from lignocellulosic material. So, real quick, I'm going to run through some of the connectors. All right. Um, so, starting from the top, we have our sparger gas out. We have our DO connector, um, our DO probe. Then the next two ports are um, pH for the pH probe. Then our next connection is for the motor, which you can see right here. Then we have our thermometer, um, the connector for that. These next two connectors we don't use um, in our experiment, but they are for a uh, level probe, if you have it. Next we have water in and water out for the condenser. And then these last two connectors are water in and water out for the water jacket. All right, so here's our 10 liter um, vessel that we're using. The reason that we're using a 10 liter vessel is because we're trying to scale up our production. Um, you can also find these vessels in four and six liters um, and other sizes, but we chose to use the larger one. Um, starting at the bottom, you can see our heating jacket, which is in the bottom. Um, and then this is our water jacket in and water jacket out port. Um, and warm water runs through this and heats up the whole vessel. So the glass part is the main area where fermentation will be carried out. Um, up top, uh, in our lid, you can see our condenser. And we have a water in and water out for our condenser. And then our gases will be um, exhausted through this port, which is going to be connected through tubing to our fume. Next, we have our thermo well port, which is where our thermometer will be inserted. Then we have our pH and our DO probe ports. Um, there's two of these ports for pH and DO um, on opposite sides of the lid. And they're used for different size probes. Next, we have our addition ports right here, um, these two. And we'll be using these for acid and base feeds. Next, we have two sparger ports. All right, so here we have our sampling port. And we'll be using this to put in our inoculum and our media and also to extract it at the okay. end. So we're gonna start by hooking up the vessel and we're gonna start with our water in and water out for the water jacket. Um, you just place the connectors right here and you push in until you hear it pop. After that, we are going to hook up the condenser with the water in and water out for that. How you do this is you pull back on the sleeve, stick in your connector and then release the sleeve. And you're going to do the same thing for the one on the bottom. Okay, after that we're going to hook up our exhaust tubing. And we're going to hook up the tubing to the port on top of the condenser. You just push your tubing on. And then you're going to run the exhaust tubing into our fume hood. And once we turn the vessel on, we will turn on the fume hood. So next we're going to hook up our acid and base feeds, or at least the tubing for it. Um, we start with our tubing that we autoclaved and wrapped in tin foil. So I've hooked up our acid and base feeds, and as you can see they're running from our addition ports um, through peristylic pumps connected to the BioFlow 3000. And then right now they are just um, right here until so we get our acid and base. Um, we'll set them here and then run these tubes into our acid and base. I've also hooked up our sparger tubing, which goes from the sparger out to our sparger port. I've also hooked up um, our tubing that we will be putting our inoculum and our media um, into the vessel. As you can see, I've hooked it up. Uh, it's going through a peristolic pump and coming out, and I'm going to now sterilize the tubing with ethanol, and then we will um, put our media into our vessel. Okay, so we sterilized our tubing, and as you can see, it's in our media, and we're gonna start up the peristolic pump and pump our media into our vessel. All right, so now that we have our media in, um, we're gonna put our inoculum in. 
And as you can see, we grew our yeast culture. Um, we grew one liter of it in a spinner flask. And now we're going to start pumping it through. All right, so as you can see, our media and inoculum is ready to go in the vessel. So I'm going to start up the machine right after I hook up the motor. All right, so now that our motor's hooked up, we're ready to turn on the machine. Um, in order to do that, we need to come over to our sink, make sure that our water is on and make sure that it's the cold water, not the hot water. Once we have our cold water turned on, the next step is to flip on the on switch. Okay, so we're gonna select fermentation, setting number two. And here are the controls. So once we turn our machine on, we're gonna set our temperature to what we wanna grow our yeast at, which is 30 for us and we are going to turn on Prime to let the machine warm up. Um, while that's going, we are going to grab the thermometer and place it into the thermometer port. We are going to connect our pH probe. You screw it into the red outlet, which is connected to the pH um, port over here. Once that's screwed in, you're going to remove the electrolyte solution that it's stored in from the tip. All right, now we're going to calibrate. So we're going to adjust the screen to a Christian screen. We're going to adjust it to calibration. And we're going to calibrate it using three buffer solutions of pH 7, pH 10, and pH 4. OK, so the next probe we're going to be hooking up is our DO probe. Uh, it hooks up to this connector. So now we have our DO probe hooked up and we're going to insert it into our vessel. The DO probe measures dissolved oxygen in our vessel and for this experiment we're going to be using agitation to control DO in the system. Okay, so now that we have our DO and our pH probes hooked up, um, we turn the machine on and we set agitation to 300 and as you can see we're agitating our media um, with our inoculum in it. We're going to let this grow for 48 hours and then after 48 hours we will come back um, and clean it up. During the 48 hours that it's fermenting we will take samples every two hours um, to check for ethanol production and cell growth.